What is up everybody, it's Joe from JLW Games coming at you with another cool video and we're back in the Entenmann multi-launch project. So, first thing you'll notice right off the bat is that I did decide to go ahead and change the trains to the Vector. Um, we did have it on the Invincible trains, which is the Entenmann Giga, but then I decided to change it to the uh, more of the mock style because it just resembles the trains a little bit better to Valasa Coaster as you guys have pointed out in the comments and I have to say I'm in agreement it was between those two and um, I do believe that these probably look a little bit closer overall so I decided to go with those because the majority of you guys in the comments did decide that um, I should go with these style trains instead um, and like I said I do agree I think they look a little better I also messed with the color scheme a little bit and um, in this episode today we're gonna be working on the station and a little bit uh, a few other things like on the launch track and everything like that we're gonna add like some platforms uh, for the launch track and actually add the launch fins for the launch track as well. So um, this is going to be something a little bit different. It's not really different, but like um, um, for me anyways, for the station, I always try to make my stations unique a little bit. Um, so you'll see at the end of this, uh, the station is going to be pretty bland, but um, it's not finished uh, and um, there'll be a lot more details here to come. So I always like to detail uh, do some detail work a lot as well later on but for now this is just getting the main parts of the station and just early development of um, just the building itself so um, we'll be doing a lot of details and probably have like a full detail episode where we just detail more stuff um, and just kind of get some final details as well um, so I did put this roof on here. This roof is just going to be a placeholder, but the difference uh, that I'm doing on this building is that it's going to be more of a modern style-ish, I guess you could say. I'm going to be using, instead of le less wood and more concrete and steel um, for this structure instead. So it has a little bit more of a modern build to it. Um, so usually when I do my skeletons, I guess you could say skeletons for the... Um, uh, roofing, I usually use wood, but for this instance, we're going to be using some steel beams instead um, for the supports of the roof. And then I also am going to use those to create a steel style roof as well. Um, again, the um, just the uh, the roof that I'm using right now is a placeholder, um, and it's just for uh, so I can get the angle that I want for my roofing. And that's basically all that was used for. Um, so we can cover it up with my actual custom roof. So I'm trying to get in the habit of doing more custom style roofs instead of sticking with um, the in-game roofs. Um, and it's actually worked out pretty well. So um, we're going to keep that trend. I think on our last project with the spinning coaster project, uh, the mock spinning coaster, that we did actually end up using uh, so a custom doing a custom uh, roof on it as well so that looked just as cool so I decided to go with the same kind of concept here make our own custom roof and a little bit on that so um, and then excuse me uh, we'll do a um, uh, copy it to the other side just fine just like so and then um, I had to uh, fill in the uh, the roof pieces here for the wall which also will look nice as well. I did use a different texture on that because the walls I used for the main building actually did not have the angled walls themselves, which did was kind of a letdown, but um, that's all right. We'll use with uh, use what we have. So, uh, but you'll see, I'll do a lot of different detail work here and there. So um, I'm, I am going to be using theme makers toolkit items for this project as well so just in case you guys are wondering yes i will be doing that for this project also uh, i have gotten a comment some comments on my uh, microphone you might have noticed that my microphone does sound kind of different and a little bit uh probably like lower quality and that is because my usual microphone is not broke but it's just not doing well I guess you could say for a while it's been very uh, it's a condenser mic but for some reason the condense part is not working very well and it's picking up a lot of background noise and it's actually worse than my headset mic that I'm using right now this is just my headset mic 
Um, so it's just like a basic microphone. It gets the job done, but it's not great, obviously. Um, so hopefully I'll be looking into potentially getting a new microphone um, for the channel. So that will be nice to have um, because just my current one, it's just it's gotten so bad, and I think it's time for uh, to upgrade it and uh, just get a new one altogether um, just to to fix this issue. So, but anyways, we're gonna have to use this microphone for now. Um, I might make the purchase for the new microphone here soon, so hopefully we don't have to bear this microphone for too long, but um, for right now that's what we're going to use. So going in back into the station, I did use these little storage bins. I love these storage bins. They are on the Steam Workshop, and they're absolutely fantastic, and I use them quite often actually. And then you did notice for the lights, and uh, we did use some Theme Maker Toolkit items for the the little light bulbs and the fans as well which is a great um piece as well so i wanted to do this little concrete walkway that comes around um following the track as it gets onto the launch pad uh the launch section so i wanted to make sure the launch section had like a walkway or catwalk of some sorts and um for this particular launch we're just we're going to be using kind of like a concrete catwalk um which i do like to use which I think does look uh, nice for certain situations. So for this one, I said I'd go ahead and do that. <coughs> so it just connects right into um, the station as well. And uh, once we get to the launch, launch section, we're going to be doing that as well. I'm going to be trying to put in a lot of little details here and there, um, just in general for the coaster. And you'll notice that after um, we get a little bit further into the time lapse, I'm going to actually build a small building off to the side of the launch section and that's going to be the build the little small building that's going to house all the electronics and all the uh stuff for the launch itself so we're going to do have these little launch buildings um and just um that way um it kind of gets that realism right there so and then of course i'm going to be doing the um the launch fins here since we did use some lsms uh, for this coaster type, but it does not actually have an LSM because I'm using the mod. Therefore, there's not an actual track piece with those LSMs on them. So we had to play some via scenery to make it look like it is a launch, indeed a launch track instead of just a plane track. So um, we did add that detail. And of course, we have to go in here and finish up the concrete um, catwalk here, the little concrete uh, piece and a for the launch section, it's gonna have the concrete on both sides, making it a little easier for maintenance to access if they have to access both sides of the track um, for these launch uh, sections. So I don't know if I'm gonna do a concrete um, piece for the second launch as well. I just might, but we'll see once we get there. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so it's looking great. I did have to test it a little bit, uh, the ride a little bit with the new trains because when you do change the trains, it does kind of affect how it goes through the layout as well. It seemed to go through the layout just fine um, as the same with the invincible trains. So um, I had no problem with that. So as I mentioned before, here is the little building that will house all of the electronics and the uh, all the stuff for it, the launch section here. Um, for the first launch um, again I will probably have another little building by the second launch as well just to kind to <coughs> excuse me kind of um, uh, get that in order as well so we'll have this building and then um, of course like I said a lot of details are going to come later um, but this is just the first little bit uh, going into the build so thankfully that is that so I think it's looking pretty good so far. Um, I think, um, like I said, we're probably going to have like an uh, episode where we just do like little, little bit of uh, some details, like the small details that you wouldn't see. Like I started a little bit here by adding like a little control panel here. That way if maintenance, uh, it would probably be controlled, uh, uh, connected to the launch or something like that. So, um, and everything. So, and then of course we have to add... A little camera here for the ride ops so they have cameras on the rides so they can see the launch um, as it is out there um, since they don't have eyes on that when in when they're in the station operating the ride so um, once we got these concrete walkways on I did go ahead and place some of these fences 
as well. I do love these fences a lot, and they are in the Theme Maker's Toolkit item as they are a Theme Maker's Toolkit item as well. Um, but they just look great, and they fit in a lot of different things, like a lot of different settings and stuff. So I do like those um, uh, as well. So very, very good. And um, uh, also on the Steam Workshop themselves. So, um, so once we get into the next episode, I think I might start a little bit on some custom supporting. Um, I think I might try and start custom supporting the top hat element at first. Um, but we'll see. There might be a couple sections of track that I want to tweak, maybe, um, potentially, just to make them a little bit better. Um, but for right now, uh, we're going to go with that. And, of course, I want to make sure my color scheme's good and everything. Everything's final before I get into custom supporting because we don't want to have to end up changing the colors when um, I already have, you know, custom supports down and everything like that. So, um, of course, I want to think everything out for this project a little bit so i want to make sure that everything's um accessible so when we have like these launch sections we're also going to have stairways that lead off the platform uh as well that way there's a way to get up on the platform and all that fun stuff as well so um and then we go ahead and build a little bit of the uh part of the exit here um i don't go too far into detail just place a little bit of the path and some steps um, I might actually change those into a ramp. That way it is wheelchair accessible and everything for um, the, the also for when um, guests with disabilities also want to ride. Um, they can do that uh, with no issues. With no, that way we don't have to put like an elevator in. But anyways, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more amazing content like this. I'm going to catch you guys in the very next episode. Thanks so much. And goodbye. Have a great day. Even cooler tomorrow. Almost forgot my outro. Bye.